ride to the barn. I haven't seen Ryder in a week and just have been getting updates from my trainer and our assistant trainer. And so we're excited to be making the, well, I don't know if we're excited to be making the drive again, but we're excited to be headed to the barn. I'm looking forward to getting some saddle time in again. And uh, our riding schedule, or my riding schedule, has been a little uh, sporadic lately. About once, once or twice a week right now. Um, we are going through some larger changes behind the scenes, but I'm sure Barrett and I will talk about that when we're ready, and when things are more set in stone. But otherwise, we're excited to spend this beautiful Saturday with the horses. Well, that drive certainly never gets easier, but we finally made it. Rider. <laughs> Hi, Juan. Hello. How are you? Good. Hello. Good. Hey, Mr. Man. Hey, Mr. Man. New stall. Check it out. The blue ones? Yeah. You know, there's a favorite color around this barn. Have you noticed it yet? One thing that I absolutely love about Ryder and about all of our horses is that he just stands tied. He's been standing tied for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so and he's just happy and content. Mr. Ryder's still a little warm and he could really use a cool, cool bath post-training. It's a little warm today, so he's gonna get cooled off for a second. When I saw you over there, I was sensual. Now I'm feeling something I haven't before. Look at us no dancing now, skin to skin. Texas has been very mild as far as weather and heat this summer, but today we are sure feeling it. I think it's probably in the mid 90s or so, and at least there's a little bit of a breeze. Maddie and I were talking as she's getting Ryder all hosed off, and while those polo wraps are really, really cool and they look really nice and um, they're super, super fancy, one thing that you really have to pay attention to, especially during the summer months, is 
making sure that your horse's tendons um, in their legs are not getting too hot. And those polo wraps are a little, a little too hot, I think. Those other, what are they called, the air? Anyways, the, the splint boots that Maddie usually uses on him, the blue ones that we've seen on this channel a few times, I think those are a little bit better. They let air get through there and uh, they keep everything nice and cool. So uh, one thing that we do whenever we are hosing off horses, we really make sure that their legs get hosed down really well and uh, get everything in there cooled off. That way you can help prevent any injuries. So just a, a thought for the day. So today, like I mentioned earlier, first ride back for me in a week. Rider's been worked since with my trainer. And I think today was just one of those days where he wasn't feeling it. It's hot, I'm out of shape, and I think it just made like the perfect combination of a not our best ride. Like people, horses are entitled to not having, I'll trick you, not having a good day. And I wouldn't say he was bad, he was just not wanting to work. Um, but we had, you know, showed him that he could work and it was going to be fun and we had some nice moments, so I'm happy. Yeah, and he wasn't bad by any means, but I think horses just have off days, just like humans do, like Maddie said. And on days like today, you have to figure out how to be productive, but also quit him when it's time. And, and I think Maddie did a good job of that today. He got some really, really good work in, but just knew that today wasn't his day and give him the time off when he needs it. He's his mm. <laughs> All right, buddy. See you later. He's got plenty of hay in his stall, so he'll be just fine. Leave me alone, woman. Never before, look at us though dancing now, skin to skin. If you keep this up, then I'll